For 22 years, the Glockenspiel stood at the corner of the 10-storey Swiss Center overlooking Leicester Square. It delighted tens of thousands of visitors from all over the world who pass by every day. The bells were donated by the people of Switzerland and Liechtenstein to the city of Westminster. Each of them was dedicated to a Westminster ward and matched with the Swiss canton. In 1985, the bells were delivered by truck all the way from the Rucci foundry in Aral. The foundry team filmed the event. I made the bells. I was the director of the foundry at that time. There were 27 in all, which we tuned ourselves. It's quite a job to make a glockenspiel. Albert Kunz, former London director of Switzerland Tourism, was the founder of the Swiss Centre and a guiding force behind the creation of the carry-on. We had the money very quickly and we built the glockenspiel within one year because we had to present it when the city of Westminster was 400 years old. The glockenspiel, which can play 200 tunes, was presented in a ceremony involving rampaging cows and traditional Swiss folk costumes. The people of Westminster received a parchment sealing the friendship between the two countries. The glockenspiel was something attached to the building that was, that was living and, and it was emotional because there were sounds and, and melodies and uh, so it was an astronomical uh, clock and it showed the, mon the, 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 the lunar phase, it showed, it showed the month, it showed the, the zodiacs, there was uh, two, two uh, bell ringers, there was a, there was a, a rooster uh, shouting, shouting the hours, so it was a really kind of, of a Swiss mechanical miracle and, and that's why it was so popular from the moment it was installed on the building. When the owners of the Swiss Centre decided to sell the building, many people wondered what would happen to the carry-on. Obviously it was a blow, but there is a contract between uh, the owners of the Swiss Centre Limited and Switzerland Tourism, a so-called Swissness deed, that the glockenspiel has to still be sounding in the vicinity of the Swiss Centre. So the new owners of the building were obliged to pay for the restoration of the glockenspiel and its repositioning in the same area. The contract went to the original creators of the bells. Uh, I think in Switzerland we have so many uh, know-how, detailed know-how about this glockenspiel and the figures and the complicated mechanism that I think uh, it would be a very hard job for a competitor to realize what he has to do. The 27 bells have to be cleaned and retuned. The whole process takes about three days for each bell. The most particular difference between the old style is the tuning of the bell and there we have a precision which is up five times higher. The Lord Mayor of Westminster paid the foundry a visit recently to see how work was progressing. We asked her why it was important for Westminster to keep the bells. About 50 million people a year come to Leicester Square and the Glockenspiel has always been a huge tourist attraction and we're missing it at the moment. So we're looking forward very much for it to be back in its rightful place in the heart of London in Leicester Square. The wooden figures were hand carved in Brient and are being lovingly restored by Adalbert Fessler in his workshop in Appenzell. And it's Gustav Kutnecht's job to make sure that all the mechanical parts work properly. The motors are electric and all the figures travel around a 15 meter track. The figures and bells will form part of a new modern structure based in Swiss court. These are the blueprints. For us, it's a, it's a huge honor to have a, a Swiss court within this, this, this world-famous capital, London, 
I mean, this small country, Switzerland, has a, has a presence, a physical presence with a court, with this cantonal tree, and, and eventually the glockenspiel. It is a triumph that we achieved it, and of course, it was so nice that the city of Westminster are very, very pleased that we could rebuild the glockenspiel and put it in one of the main squares. The new Glockenspiel is expected to be inaugurated in the spring of 2010. I found St James's.